Hello, in this video I'm going to talk to you about specific options for scatter plot visualizations and box plot visualizations in Oracle Analytics. Let me start by building a horizontal box plot using cells as an X value, X axis, and cities not as a category but instead as a detail. Details mean dots in the box plots. If I hover over the Vs and look at the tooltip, I see five values, high, Q3, Q2, Q1, and low. High is about one out of 8,000, and low is about 16,000. But if I look at the tooltip over the extreme maximum here, it's way higher than 108,000, and the minimum is way lower than 16,000. So let's take a quick refresh of what a box plot visualization really means. There's this box in the middle with a vertical line, which is the median. Left of the median is 50% of the records. Right of the median value is another 50% of records. Then the two vertical sides of the box itself represent Q1 quartile and Q3 quartile. So left of the Q1 quartile value is the lowest 25% of the records. And right of the Q3 quartile value is the highest 25% of the records. Obviously, in the middle, the box width itself represents the values holding 50% of the records, also called interquartile range IQR. On the far right and far left of the chart, the records shown by single dots represent outliers. So how do we qualify outlier versus the rest of Q1 records? It's simply by applying Q1 minus 1.5 IQR value or Q3 plus 1.5 IQR value. Whatever falls outside of that, that range is tagged as an extreme outlier value. So now let's look back at our tooltip. Q2 equals the median. Q1 and Q3 are Q1 and Q3. Low value is the Q1 minus 1.5 IQR. And high value is Q3 plus 1.5 IQR. These are different from the, from the maximum value of the data set and the minimum value of the data set, which is the highest outlier or the lowest outlier. That's why we had a difference in the viz. A neat way to remember what a box plot means is to pretend that you're looking at a distribution chart seen from above. And the box plot in the middle represents the 50% chunk that is the highest part of the distribution chart. So let's go back to our visualization and let's create another visualization with say sales and let's say number of customers so that we see cities distribution. Now, when I select a outlier, extreme outlier in the box plot, I can see it's highlighted in the scatter plot as well exactly as an outlier. So if I select all of the outliers, one side or the other side, I can see in the box plot that they are low sales or high sales. Now, Oracle Analytics allows us to break down box plots by different categories and colors. I can do the same in the scatter plot. Now, let me eliminate these two extreme outliers just so that we have a better visibility. And we can simply select dots in the box plot here and highlight them in the scatter plots. I can color this selection here as outliers, let's say in red. And let's do the same for the low hand. So the Q1 outliers across the different categories, color them, let's say in green. And let's also represent this scatter plot with a logarithmic axis. So we better see the distribution here. So let's put logarithmic with a start value of 500, let's say. That gives us a better visibility. Now, there is an option as part of the box plot that is show points. So I can leave it to auto like it is right now or turn all the points on. And that way I will see all the dots as if I was looking above a distribution, but with all the dots. And as I select the dots, I can see them in the chart. If I select the whole box plot, I can also see it on the chart. Another option is to select off, completely off, and I will just see the box plot, the high and low. And of course, if I select the box plot, I will see the dots on the visualization. So this is about box plot in OAC. Now I want to highlight also a, a capability in scatter plots that is rather interesting. So I'm just going to create a scatter plot with cross unit price, profit, and year. So this is showing me profit in Y and gross unix price in X by year. And now I can see the years, but it's hard for me to really make sense of a trend of, or a history of that relationship. There are a few recent formatting options in the scatter plot that will help me achieve that. So 
I can influence the outline and the, and the format of the points, the transparency, the coloring. But most importantly, I can also connect the different dots with a line. So different formats for line, step, straight, segmented, or curved. But what this is telling me is taking the sequence of the different values in years and joining them. So I can easily understand that we've reduced price between 13 and 14 and less profit. But then at the same price in 16 and in 15, we increased profit. And as we re-increased price, profit grew. I can obviously represent this by different dimensions, such as customer segment. Let me remove this consumer segment. Let's look at the corporate, home office, and small businesses. And here I can easily compare the correlation between these two matrices over time, thanks to using that line option. So that option is obviously not limited to time dimensions only. It can be used with any attributes and is very useful. Thanks for watching that video.